Nithyanandam. Let's learn to draw Hanuman together today. First, let's start with a pencil sketch. Gently draw a circle on the paper. This will be Hanuman's head. Below the circle, draw another circle slightly larger. This is Hanuman's body. Now, on the left side of the paper, draw a small circle for Hanuman's left hand. From the right side, draw a curved line connecting to the body. This is Hanuman's arm. Next, let's draw Hanuman's left palm dot on the right side of the paper, draw an oval shape. From the left hand, draw a curved line connecting to the body. This is Hanuman's left arm. Now, let's draw Hanuman's legs. Imagine Hanuman flying in the air, looking very graceful. His legs are bent, making Hanuman look relaxed. Hanuman's right hand holds his gada, or it is named mace. Above Hanuman's right hand, draw a straight line through his hand. This is the handle of the gada. Then, above the hand, draw an oval shape. Please note that oval shape should be right in the middle of the handle. On top of this oval shape, draw another curved line and a pointed top. Finally, let's draw a wavy line for Hanuman's tail. Now, let's draw a horizontal line on Hanuman's face to mark the position of his eyes. Then, draw a straight line to form a cross. Draw a short horizontal line below for Hanuman's nose. Below the nose, draw another short line, this is the position of the mouth. Draw another straight line above the cross on the head, this is the center of Hanuman's crown. Now, we have a rough sketch of Hanuman on the paper. Let's start drawing the outline of Hanuman. Starting from the eyes, first draw Hanuman's eyeballs. Then draw the eyelids. Use the same method for the other eye. Next, let's draw Hanuman's double eyelids. Round eyes with double eyelids look even cuter. Now, let's draw Hanuman's eyebrows. Curved eyebrows will make him look friendly. You can draw the eyebrow scar thickly to enhance Hanuman's expression. Below the eyes, mark the position of the nose with a curve, representing Hanuman's nose. Then, draw a smiling mouth. Hanuman's basic features are now drawn. Now, let's start drawing his hair. Hanuman's hair is long and curly. Imagine waves or clouds. Using curved lines, draw Hanuman's hair strand by strand. Start with the top of the head and the hair above the ears. Use the same method for the other side. Now, let's draw the gada. Starting from the center, draw an oval shape. Then, draw an arc on both sides. Continue layering like this, following the sketch to draw. After that, draw the top of the gada. Now, let's draw Hanuman's right hand. Start with the thumb, a small oval shape. Then, follow the sketch to draw the fist's outline. Follow the sketch to draw the arm. Once the gada is drawn, we can draw some more hair on this side. 
Imagine the hair like waves or clouds, weightless, floating in the air. Now, let's draw the mountain held in his left hand. To heal from an injury due to the battle, Lakshmana was in need of a particular herb that was available in the Sanjeevni mountain. Since Hanuman could not identify the herb, he grabbed the whole mountain and retuned back to Lakshmana. This proves his immense strength and extraordinary powers as a devoted disciple of Lord Rama. Let's draw the hair on the other side. Now, let's draw the contours of the face. Then, follow the sketch to draw the left hand. Now, let's start drawing Hanuman's crown. Imagine the shape of the crown. You can design the crown for Hanuman. Now, you can refine the outline, adjusting the thickness and length of the lines. Let's start drawing Hanuman's clothes. Start from the center, drawing a trapezoid. Use curves to express the flow of the clothes during flight. Once the middle part is drawn, start drawing layers on both sides. Then, follow the sketch to draw the clothes. Follow the sketch to draw the body, legs, and clothes. Now, let's draw the hold of the gada. Once it is drawn, erase any extra lines. Finally, draw the tail. Hanuman's outline is complete. Now, let's start coloring. Use brown to directly draw Hanuman's mala. Imagine the mala hanging on Hanuman's body and draw them one by one. You can use different shades of brown for a layered effect. Once the shape of the mala is drawn, start coloring them. Next, color the face, hands, feet, and body. You can use apricot, yellow, orange, or light brown. Leave the whites of the eyes blank.
Next, color the hair. Use a darker shade of brown with hints of blue or black for a richer color. Once the hair color is done, use the skin color directly to draw Hanuman's ears, then color them. Next, let's color Hanuman's crown. You can use yellow or gold. Then, color the gada. Next, color the mountain in green. Now, let's color the clothes. You can choose your favorite colors. Now, let's color Hanuman's tail. Use the same color as the hair. Now, let's refine the facial details. Prepare two different shades of brown to draw Hanuman's eyes. If you only have one brown color, you can use dark blue or black instead. In Hanuman's pupils, use a light brown to draw three circles to represent highlights. Leave these areas blank for highlights. In the middle of the pupils, use dark brown, dark blue, or black to draw a circle. This circle can intersect with the three highlight circles.
Then, use light brown to color the entire iris. Using different shades of brown will make the drawing look richer and more layered. Now, let's draw Hanuman's nose. Use light brown to directly draw the outline of the nose. Since we've already drawn an arc to mark the nose's position, follow this line to outline the entire nose. Use pink or orange to draw the lips, gently applying the color along the mouth. Now, let's draw kumkum between the eyebrows and above the mouth. Follow these steps carefully. The drawing is done. Practice make prefect. You can share your artwork with us. Thank you for watching. Nithyanandam.